Floyd, you seem really comfortable talking about money. A, a lot of people in the UK are not. So what, what are your beliefs around money? Just because I talk about money doesn't make me a bad person. I mean, I, love, I like to have the finer things in life. Money don't make me, I make money. I like to feed my family, you know. Um, we, can't feed, we can't feed our family just saying I love you, you know. Money is able to put us in a position so we can have the finer things in life. So we are able to travel over to the UK and uh, experience and do different things. We're able to travel to uh, Dubai and other countries and have fun and live life and experience different things. So when you know when you're able to make a lot of money, you're able to do those certain things. And for those people that don't have any money, because life is all about having different experiences. And with me being able to make a lot of money, I'm able to take bring my team as well as my family around the world so they can experience different things. Something you said earlier, Floyd, it really fascinated me. And, and it gave me an insight that um, you really learned about money is you said in real estate, you got to know what to do on a small scale first. Yes. And then you went big. And it, is that because you don't want to take massive risk because you want to be smart with your money? Well, uh, like you don't go out there and work extremely hard for so many years and then take every every dime you got and just put it put it into something that you don't know about. Well, a lot of people do, don't they? <laughs> I mean, and, and, it's, and a majority of the time you get bad results. 90% of the time you get bad results. Just like boxing. You know, we have gotten great. We got, I, I've gotten great results because I took my time. So even like my investments, take my time, gradually move slow and, and see how things are going. If things are going great, then we give a little bit more. Then give a little bit more. And that's what I did. Did you ever have any um, sort of strong money lessons as you started making money? whether it was a bad investment or someone turned you over? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. You know, I had, um, um, it was, um, a friend of mine or a person I thought was a friend of mine and, uh, they were around me and, um, long time ago. Um, I thought they was in it for the well being of myself. Things didn't go right, um, you know, took a loss. I took a heavy loss, actually. But um, nothing can hold me back. Nothing can hold me back. You know, like I said, I, st I, I stepped back, uh, regroup, uh, get a new team, and uh, came back strong. You seem to learn a lot from your lessons, Floyd, and you talk to them like they're just a normal part of the journey. Yes. Do they ever get through? Do they ever hurt? Do you ever beat yourself up for making a mistake? Or are you just quite sort of strategic and calculated about it? Um, everything happens for a reason. It, it, was, it, was, it was just, I looked at the situation just as a minor setback for a major comeback. I, can, I'm, I will always win just in life because I know what I'm doing. And I have so much experience just in life. So I will always win. Nothing is easy. You know, um, that's why I always... You always hear my slogan, hard work and dedication. You know, I believe in working hard and I'm going to dedicate myself to whatever I'm involved in. You got to dedicate yourself. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Now, if you like this, we have a full deep interview, the uncut, unedited version. So if you want to watch that, the link is below. But first, make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you, Floyd. Bye, guys.